today I want to talk about Spectra Gates, the one in Digitalis and the one by Andrew Riemann. I already had those two, but now there is a new Spectra Gate called D8 Audio by the same developer who made Prisma. A really good multiband distortion plug-in with fancy visuals and also a very fancy sound that you can't get with Saturn or something. Very recommendable. You can get this for free but it is basically donationware because you can get it for free and it has the full functionality but there is this banner that tells you to support the developer which I didn't do yet as you can see I just wanted to test the plugin for now since I already have a bunch of spectral gates it's like I don't need every new spectral gate that exists but I do like spectral gates as you know so I just check it out so here we have this sound And yeah, it has a bit of a clicky nature to it. The reverb couldn't solve it all by itself. It is just there. So now I'm loading various spectral gates, hoping to kind of mask the clickiness out of there and get more of the tonal character. Now with Andrew Riemann's spectral gate, that's an easy thing to do. You just set the weak strong balance to 100% and then you tweak the cutoff amplitude until it sounds good. Now while you're doing that you can also try different FFT sizes to get different characters. Probably more of a pad kind of sound with a big FFT size. Nice and ghostly pre-ringing artifacts and of course the low FFT sizes with the granular sounding fine textures. In this case actually a little bit better because the sounds are moving by so fast that you need to hear every individual sound rather clearly. Nice, I like that. Now next thing we try is of course Digitalis which has a spectral gate that is amped into the data module. That's also a nice sound. You cannot change the FFT size though, so it always has this very specific type of pre-ringing. And yeah, you can change the priority, which always feels to me like sort of a ratio control, like how quickly it switches between spectral gate on and off. But yeah, the sound is different from Andrew Riemann's spectral gate. And then we have D8 audio. Just like Andrew Riemann's spectral gate has threshold and then transients and rest are basically the same thing as weak strong balance in spectral gate. So if you turned up both transients and rest that is like putting weak strong balance to 50% where you don't hear any spectral gating putting transients down to zero decibel is like turning this up and the other way around is like turning it down and threshold is like what's called cut off amplitude here So these ASCII characters in the background tell you how much is going through from the signal. So currently everything is going through. But now I take some of them away and it will make this super nice animation. Wow, I already love this plugin without even using it. But now let's use it. Okay, the thing that is different between D8 audio and Spectral Gate is that there is a release control and I already feel why that makes a big difference because 
typically all of these spectral gates always try to bring back the silence as fast as possible when the signal is not loud enough anymore while here you can turn up release and then it sounds more like a water drop splashing into the water which especially makes sense with the deeper threshold values where it is gating away more so that just a few sounds really poke through but at least those sounds then are very long and drippy I feel like we could actually do something really cool with that. We could layer all of these sounds together. And in this particular example, I think D8 audio shines especially because it will set the details now. I could even imagine even longer release times just ridiculously long release times for these settings where you dial in the threshold super softly like this maybe even more and then the normal spectral gate actually too noisy oh wait it changed its settings And now Digitalis. I feel like Digitalis brings some corrosive vibe into this, so we could lean in even more with that by adding Nell and then with the triangles oscillator in the LFO. Maybe even loading the other LFO as well, also with triangles, maybe the opposite shape, maybe a different rate and mixing the modulators 50-50. Yeah. Nice. Just a bit of peak control. Now this is actually one of the rare times where I would say turning auto gain off in a compressor is a good idea because you know oftentimes you add a compressor because you want to make stuff louder but sometimes you just add the compressor because you feel like some of the peaks are kind of annoying and then you definitely do not want everything to get louder. overkill in the section with the lead synthesizer but yeah I do like the sound and this is the end of the video 